Hello guys, TLL Porto here today with another video for you, this time on how to retrieve all of your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touches data even if it's broken using a program called Phone Rescue. So Phone Rescue has just been launched back in June and it is an all new solution made to rescue photos, messages, you've got music and up to 22 types of iOS content on all your iDevices. So um, this app is, is great and that's why I'm doing a review on it and kind of a tutorial to help you guys out who want to retrieve your data from your iPhone. So let's, so let's start this out. So um, also I forgot to mention th this app has a one of a kind feature which can retrieve all of your phone which, which can retrieve mistake, mistakenly deleted files which is great because sometimes those are files you do not want to delete which are really important and so th this is one of the best features I've seen so far in these types of programs and I'm sure you guys will all agree Alright, so um, Phone Rescue has finally opened up and so we have two options here. We can either recover from an iDevice, I have my iPhone here connected, or you can recover from an iTunes backup. Um, so I'm going to recover from an iDevice. So um, there you go, you just to recover from an iOS device. Then here you have your 22 types of iOS content here which I mentioned before. So you have your contacts, call history, messages, voicemail, calendar, reminders, notes, safari bookmarks, and history. You've got all your uh, all of your photos including your photo stream, music, playlists, iBooks, audiobooks, videos, and third-party app data which is documents, photos, audio, and app video. So this is great. So um, I have just unticked all of the content I did not want to retrieve, so I just want my contacts, call history, messages, voicemail, calendar, and notes. So what you do is you start scan. It will start scanning your your device and scanning for content on it, which it can retrieve. Now um, I'm using this as an example iPhone, so um, this type phone actually has nothing on it and I just did that to make the scan quicker. I will show you um, an, an example of retrieved content later on. But the process is exactly the same for those of you guys who actually want to retrieve data from their device. So, so here we are at 100% and um, as you can see because I restored it I have, uh, I have zero of everything pretty much. And so, um, yeah, you got, it, it would say under instead of zero, like how many contacts, like a hundred, like 20 calls, <coughs> and such. So um, then what you guys do is that you are going to click on output settings. And um, why this is important is because you have different types of outputs. Now, usually I prefer to take when I can HTML because text just presents really badly all your information and HTML it goes to your browser and goes to uh, Phone Rescue's website that presents it really well. Um, Alright, so for reminders I'd recommend CSV for, as I said before, Safari Bookmarks HTML. Um, contacts, use these VCF like that you can import them onto your device, any device, even an iPhone easily and there we go so you can choose your output location and you can click save and then you do recover and as you can see because mine is empty it says there is nothing so um, over here you guys would have a loading screen just like for the scan and at the end when it reaches a hundred percent it will open up the folder where it retrieved all your content so what I'm going to do 
is open up the example fo folder I had before, which was data I retrieved from my iPad. I retrieved everything I possibly could, and Phone Rescue did an, an extremely good job of getting all my data back, and I'm truly happy. So let's open the folder up. So you have uh, App Audio, App Document, App Photo, App Video, which are your third-party apps. So right now I'm going into the camera roll, and you can see all of my pictures are here. So let me just open up this pic. So um, you, you can just see I have everything, and there it is, opening up my pic. Come on. Are we there? And there we go. So. I have everything, the quality is as it was on my iPad, so I have not lost anything. So all my contacts are there in VCF for me to import back into any device I wish. Um, I have got all of my PDFs which I had stored on iBooks, so um, I'm just going to open up. These are my math exercises, and they're all there. Thank God I didn't lose any of my work. So um, you also have even more, you, you, you also have your music, you've got your notes, so um, here it is, it's saved as a CSV, so I'm of course going to open that right now with Excel, but you can use any other program that opens up CSV files logically. And so there you go, I had one note, there it is under title, so um, you can see it is written there, it, it is, I had exactly that on my iPad you can see the date it has been written in and you can see different lines of numbers and words and symbols which I'm not really sure what they mean but I suppose one can just ignore them and it will all be fine. Um, so photo library includes all the other photos that aren't in your camera roll like some other album which with downloaded pics from the internet etc and um, you also, now we're going on to our Safari bookmarks and history. So here I'm going to open up this HTML file just so you guys can see how nicely things are presented with the HTML. So um, there it is. It is going to open up with Chrome, my Safari bookmarks. All right. And it is loading up. And there we go. So my Safari bookmarks, I have my Apple bookmarks, and I can just click on a on a bookmark which I want, and it will simply simply bring me to that page. Alright, so I'm just going to close that off. And um this also of course works for your Safari history, which will open up in the same way as your reminders. So there you go, you can see everything is there. And um, also, now we're going to look at the third-party data. So because I didn't have any really important third-party data, it didn't really save anything of value for me, but let's go ahead and take a look. All right. So let's go into... Um, App, app, what should we do? Let's go into App Documents. Yes, App Documents. So um, here, let's go into Real Racing 3. And um, you can see it saved all the t text files from Real Racing. And um, there they are. I can easily open them up on my computer, though. These, for me, aren't of much use, but I'm sure some people will be very thankful to have these. Here we go, under App Audio, I went under Google Maps, and here you can see the GPS audio. So um, let's just open up, um, let's see, so 150 meters, and so you can open this up, and um, for me it's going to open up with Windows Media Player. And, In 150 uh, meters. Your MP3 file. Alright, and... Um, as you can see, this recovered absolutely all the data I needed, and I'm really happy, and this worked out really well for me. And um, so there you go, guys. That's how you retrieve your iPhone data using Phone Rescue. Now, Phone Rescue, I'll, I'll put the link to the, I'll put a download link in the description, and also a link to have more info on the program. Now, keep in mind, guys, this has a, a, a trial, a free trial, but if you want the full version, you're going to have to shell out some money.
So thank you guys for watching and bye.